Hey guys, so today I kind of wanted to share with you a um, collective drugstore haul. I have picked up a lot of things recently from the drugstore and over the last like two to three weeks maybe and I haven't talked about them or I may have talked about some of them in videos or showed them or Instagrammed them but I haven't really done a complete video on them and so I thought I would show you guys some of the things that I've gotten and um, I don't know if that's even the right word gotten. Um, purchased whatever and then kind of a mini review on some of them some of them I haven't used yet so um, one of the first things that I picked up was this bombshell mascara from CoverGirl and it is the one that is humongous and um, it has this on this end and the other one on the other end and you're supposed to have I don't know how it's supposed to work you're supposed to have volume on one side and then finish it off with the other one and what I do like about this mascara is the fact that the first one has this kind of brush like the um, the other CoverGirl ones do, like the Clump Crusher and the other things, and it's that rubberized kind of spiky brush, and so that for me works pretty well. And then the other side also has another type of brush that I really like, and it has more of a um, actual brush kind of thing, and it's pretty big. The only problem that I have with this mascara um, is the fact that it is really 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 hard um, sorry my hair is driving me nuts hard to get off your lashes it makes them look pretty great not the greatest ever but it makes them look pretty good when you put it on but then at the end of the day when you're trying to take it off it doesn't matter if you use makeup wipes makeup remover um, cleanse off oil no matter what it's super hard to get off and I do not like mascaras like that they are a very much a no-no for me because I have been trying to grow out my eyelashes and now that they're finally like grown out and stuff I don't want my mascara to pull them all back out again and so this for me is um, one of those mascaras that I probably won't be reaching for a lot and then um, I know that this other one here has been out for a longer time than the bombshell one and I like this one much better and this is the flamed out um, mascara from CoverGirl and this stuff is awesome I have the this is a water resistant one um, and I have the color in the black brown whatever and the brush um, it has a really awesome kind of curvy brush if you guys can see that there it's got some curves to it and this stuff is just amazing it makes my lashes look really full it makes them um, kind of wing out on the corners and I had tried the Maybelline like colossal cat eye mascara for that same effect and it didn't work for me at all and so this one does and I just love this it just really does something for your lashes and so I really like that one a lot um, and then I, when it came out, picked up the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, which I have been using off and on here in the last few weeks, and I do really like it. Um, it's not a dupe for the Smashbox one. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of could be a dupe for that, but my problem with this is that it's a little bit more watery than the Smashbox one, and so um, it doesn't quite have the same consistency, but it does work pretty well for a... Um, drugstore primer um, for a silicone primer and you can't find a lot that are silicone based like this and so this is a very new thing for the drugstore to kind of come out with um, and, but I mean I would repurchase this I think um, but it's just not as good as the Smashbox one and then um, one thing that I was so excited the second I saw it I knew I had to get it was this um, pencil from L'Oreal and this is the L'Oreal Silkissimo or Silkissime or something highlighting pencil they have a highlighting one and then they had two that were um, just regular pencils I think they were just black and maybe brown but this one is in like a really gorgeous um, kind of highlight shade I'm really bad at this um, and the second I saw this I thought of the M Cosmetics rose gold water liner and I knew that there was no way anytime soon I was going to be able to afford that pencil because it's like $16 or something like that. I may be stretching that a bit, but it's pretty expensive. Um, and I saw this, and with coupons I was able to get it for $3, and that was amazing. And it is just the most gorgeous color ever. It is kind of that rosy gold color. I like to put it in the inner corners. I sometimes line my whole waterline with it. I cannot say enough great things about this. So if you are looking for somewhat of a dupe for that pencil by um, Michelle, 
then that one is definitely one that you want to pick up. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today is um, actually it's not the same but it's pretty close to this one by CoverGirl that I picked up. This isn't the one that I, well I guess this one I have picked up in the last few weeks but it's been a little bit longer than that. And this is just a CoverGirl Eye Enhancers um, eyeshadow in the shade Mink. Um, and it's a really beautiful kind of bronzy, this one's more of a taupey brown, um, whereas the one that I'm wearing um, is more of a bronzy brown. And so I liked that one enough that I thought it would pick up another one, and so I saw, I, uh, I can't speak, and so I saw this one in, what is this shade? I think this one is called Bedazzled Biscotti. And um, let's see if I can open it. And I got this because it looked like a really great kind of neutral shade and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. The problem is is that the quality on this one isn't quite as great as the other one. It's a little bit more chalky. It has a little bit more glitter instead of like stick to it. And so I don't really like this one that much, but I have picked this up recently from the drugstore. And so I might play with this a little bit more, but first initial impression, impression is that I don't like it that much. Um, and then also I had, I don't have the original packaging because I threw it away, but if you guys have been to Target in the last few weeks, you've noticed that NYX had some stuff there and at least in the smaller Targets, we don't have as much NYX stuff as some of the bigger ones do, but they had these little boxes that were like lip kits and they had some of them that was like, um, lipsticks maybe and an eyeshadow. And so, um, I got the one that was like this lip kit and so I have a few, um, lip products here to show you. And the first one was this Diamond Sparkle Lipstick and this is in the shade Sparkling Flower and it is, if you don't like shimmery glittery lipsticks you won't like this at all but I just saw this and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and it's just a beautiful beautiful very very sparkly kind of pink and so I'll actually swatch that so you guys can see it but it's just it's pretty intense and so if you're looking for something that is subtle this is not it and so it just has a lot of shimmer in it, but it's beautiful. And then it also came with um, a couple other things. It came with this um, Glam Lip Gloss in, what color is this? I don't know, it just says GLG05. Oh, there we go, High Society. And um, this one is also very gorgeous, and so I will put that right next to it there. And this one is a lighter, more of a baby pink, and it, instead of having silver flecks like this stuff does, this one has gold flecks in it. Um, but it is also super gorgeous, and so that is just so pretty. And then the next one that it came in with is this um, Plump It Up Lip Plumper in Lindsay, um, which is also a beautiful kind of baby pink color, and I just always gravitate toward things that are pink. I'm super girly girl, I like pink stuff, and so this one, while it doesn't have as much color payoff as the other ones, it's not really meant to. It's more meant to kind of plump up your lips. And I do notice that this is a little bit tingly when I put it on, and it does seem to give my lips a little bit of volume. And so um, there is a swatch of what that one looks like there. Like I said, not too much on the color payoff, but the what it says it does is pretty awesome. And then the last thing that came in the little kit was this lip pencil. It's a retractable lip liner in grapefruit. Um, it says, I think it said it was waterproof. So yeah, this one is waterproof. And it's just kind of a, more of a rosy pink kind of color. But I will swatch that one as well so you can see that. And it's pretty intense. Like this is not a subtle color whatsoever. Um, and none of these really are except for maybe that gloss. But um, there is a swatch of that on the end there. So it's a really kind of intense pink. It's not... Um, I don't know, it's not, I guess, a wearable pink. It depends on what your definition of wearable is. But So anyways, I got all those. And then um, I did pick this up. I can't remember if I've showed this in a video. If I have, I'm sorry. But I got this Rimmel Stay Matte stuff when it first came out. I picked that up the same day I got the Maybelline Baby Skin. And um, I really like this stuff because it really does stay true to its name where it does really give you matte skin. Um, it's the perfect shade for me, and I just love this stuff. So I won't talk about that too much. And then something that I recently got, so this was on clearance at Target. The original price was, I don't remember what the original price, it's got like two stickers on here. Looks like it was originally $4.69. It's this Pond's Luminous Moisture Day Lotion. And the original price was $4.69. They had it on clearance for $2.34 and I had a $2 off coupon. So I got this stuff for $0.34. Cents. 
And so here is what the actual package looks like. I did use it yesterday. Wasn't enough time to really give it a super great review as far as did I super love it or not. Um, but it's supposed to give you um, it has SPF in it and so it's supposed to protect you against the sun. Um, it has illuminating minerals in it so it's supposed to make your face kind of luminous and so um, as I continue to use this I'll give it a more of a better review. And then um, I did pick up a while back that I haven't showed yet, at least I don't think, was the Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is the original formula because I finally used up the other ones, the dark that I had and then there was a florally one which was awful. And this one I like a lot. It's a fresh, clean scent. It's not too florally. It's not too overpowering. It's just right, and it does exactly what I need to, and I love Batiste Dry Shampoo. And then um, I also got this on clearance, and I had a coupon for it, so I think I got this for $1 or $2. And this is the Simple uh, Sensitive Skin Foaming Cleanser, um, which looks like that. And I have used this a couple of times. It is a pretty good cleanser for sensitive skin. Um, as far as other benefits like being super creamy or moisturizing, I can't really attest to that quite yet, but um, it definitely didn't um, irritate my skin because my skin is oily and it is very sensitive and it is acne prone. So it's all the worst possible things come, you know, combined into one. Um, okay, and then a couple of hair things that I purchased recently. One of them I haven't used yet. It was gifted to me by a friend and, or slash I think my husband bought it. Um, and then the other one I purchased, and even though it was a little bit expensive, I am so glad I invested in this and read the reviews. And this is the Nexus Pro Men Split End Binding um, Leave-In Cream. And this stuff is so amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, wow, that was really weird. Bird just flew by my window. Um, so first thing I have to say about this, it smells super good. It smells really sweet. Um almost like maybe candy or like cotton candy or something, but it smells amazing. And the other thing is that I put just a little bit of this in my hand, probably like a dime or a quarter size amount, probably like more like a dime size amount in my hand. Um, and I just kind of, you know, rub it a little bit. And then I just put it in just the ends of my hair um, because I haven't had enough money to go and get an actual haircut um, slash I really don't want to get my hair cut because I'm just, I don't know, I'm really trying to grow it out and I know you're supposed to get a trim whatever and so I have split ends and so I decided to start using this and it has helped so much and um, right after I um, towel dry my hair I just kind of loosely towel dry it. I'll put this in the ends and then I'll put any kind of oil in my hair and then let it dry and I just can't say enough good things about this so I did pick that up and then something that um, I did recently get or was given here was this healing it's by Lanza um, I've never heard of the brand but it's this healing color care um, color preserving trauma treatment it says heals over processed hair extends hair color up to 107 percent longer and so for somebody like me that um, that dyes their hair not often I only dye it every few months now um, and I keep it the same color so I'm not doing as much to it as I used to but um, we'll have to see how that is I think it's like a leave-in conditioner and so I will have to see how this works um, and then the last few things I got here were face items, and this stuff is my backup one, but I thought I would show it. And this is the Boots Number no. Seven Beautiful Skin Cleansing Water, normally normal slash oily. Um, so this stuff, let me tell you about this for a minute. So normally my routine at night is that I use my makeup, my eye makeup remover, which right now I'm using the Maybelline Clean Express one, and I move my remove my eye makeup, and then I'll take just a regular cleansing wipe of some sort. Um, and I just forgot that I had these two. And I'll wipe the rest of my makeup off. And normally most people will do that and then maybe they'll do a cleanser and then they're done. Well here's what I do. After I do that um, makeup towel wipe thing, I will put some of this stuff on a cotton pad and then go over my face again. And it is absolutely amazing how much you miss on your face. How much just like face wipes don't get off your face. And I was just absolutely blown away by... Um, by how much is still left behind and so I was like that's it's just really amazing and it's um, really nice for like sensitive skin I don't have to worry about it irritating my skin I can use it on my eyes as well it's just great for emulsifying every bit of makeup on your face it is as far as I could tell the closest you could get to a dupe for like a matte cleanse off oil um, from the drugstore 
And then the last um, few things here is I got, I haven't used this yet, but this is the new eye makeup remover that I'm thinking about trying. And so I picked up this Sonia Kashuk one because I've heard a lot of people say that they love this stuff. And even though I like my Maybelline Clean Express, they, a lot of people raved about this. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll like this better. Um, and so I do plan on using that. And then I did pick up more of these. I had a little trial size, whatever, that I picked up, and I love them so much I bought more. And it's these Neutrogena, um, this is a refill pack. And you know what's really funny is the refill pack is only like $4 and some odd cents. And then the same one that still has 25 of them in there, the regular pack, is like 6 bucks. And I'm like, why would I pay two extra dollars for that? It boggles my mind. But um, this says Ultra Soft Cloths um, Patented Formula Dissolves All Traces of Makeup, Even Waterproof Mascara. Oh, it lives up to that. Um, and I tested that on like all my mascaras. I used a different one every day and used this to get it off and it's amazing. And it's super, super soft and it makes my skin feel so amazing afterwards. Just absolutely amazing. So I love these so much. It's going to be my new go-to face wipe. Um, okay, and the very last thing that I got was since my skin has decided to throw a fit and it hates me right now, um, it is breaking out everywhere. And I do mean everywhere, all over my face. And so I used up my samples of the proactive little wipe things that I got in my Ipsy bag. And I loved those, but I'm not going to spend whatever they're charging for the proactive thing. First of all, you can't just buy the little things by themselves from what I saw. Um, it comes in like a whole kit and it's like a subscription thing and I was like, eh. So I was like, well, maybe I can find something at the drugstore. So I picked up these, and these are these um, Noxema uh, Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads. Um, it says clears and prevents breakouts. Um, it's got that salicylic acid um, acne stuff in there. It's got 90 pads in here. And so I've used this for the last two to three nights. I use this at night when I take up off all my makeup. The last step that I do is I put I swipe this all over my face. And normally I would only do it in the spots that I need, but since my whole face, uh, face is breaking out, I'm using it everywhere. And this is such a love-hate product because I love it because it does what it says. It has absolutely reduced my acne by, I don't know what percentage, but by a lot every time that I use it. The hate part of it is that it stings, and because I have sensitive skin, it it kind of burns a little bit, and it burns, but it burns in a good way, if that makes sense. It's I know that it's doing its job, and I know it's supposed to burn because my skin is breaking out everywhere, and if my skin wasn't, this stuff would be great, but, um, so I guess that's kind of my, like, story on that, is I love this stuff because it works really well, and I hate it because it just burns, and, you know, like I said, that just means it's doing its job, so... Those are all the things that I've picked up from the drugstore lately. I will do more in-depth reviews of, of these or um, they'll end up in my favorites as, as I go along. Um, and then here in a little bit I'll be doing some reviews and swatches and stuff for all the e.l.f. stuff that I bought. Um, I know a couple of you guys are like, yeah, you should do that. So I will go ahead and do that. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys later.